everybody, this is Karen. Welcome back to our channel called Our House, and we are super excited. I'm super excited. Are you excited, Jenny? Really excited. Really excited because we have a new addition to our house, and that is an Epson printer. I know you might be thinking, a printer? That's not really exciting. But hold on a second because I'm going to show you how this printer can be a total game changer in your homeschooling environment. It's especially if you use the Robinson curriculum. Now RC families, we know that there are very few but crucial elements to this program and number one is books, right? It's the books. Now, you can buy the books, get them on Kindle, you know, but a lot of us, we choose to print our own books. Now in order to print those books, there are a few key elements. Number one is you need paper, lots of paper. And there's already lots of great deals on paper out there. You can find the rebates, you can find the specials. And then the other two are ink and printer. And those two can really make or break you. You can buy a cheap printer, and then the ink is where they make their money. The ink is where they get you, where it's really expensive and you're constantly refilling. Um, or you can invest in an awesome printer where the ink per page is as low as one fifth of a penny. That means if you're printing out like a 600 page book, your average costs about 60 cents, which is insane, especially if you wanna print all these science monographs. No, you don't have to worry anymore about it just killing your ink like I used to with my Canon printer. You know, and that's fine if you're only printing on occasion, you know, documents here and there. But if you're serious about printing books, that's not gonna work. You need a printer that can deliver. I'm gonna be putting all the information to this printer in the description box below. I'm gonna be linking up the page of the printer recommendations from the Robinson Curriculum website. And I'm also gonna put a link to this exact particular printer if you wanna check it out on Amazon. I highly recommend it. This is gonna be a two-part video. This first part is where we talk about the printer and we set it up, unbox it, show you, talk about the ink, because you get two years of ink included when you buy this printer, so that's, that will be this video. And then the second part of this video will be me showing you how to print a book in booklet style and also how to quick and easy methods to bind books and monographs. My system has improved a bit since my last how to print a book video, but I will link also that video as well. But this video has a little bit more updates without spending any more really money, without spending much more money. Just little minor things to tweak it. And so yeah, I'm excited. Let's get started. Okay, so right away we can see just from the box right here, it says that this includes enough ink to print thousands of pages. And also it says here, cartridge free printing includes up to two years of ink in the box. How amazing is that? And so it's got, includes the ink equivalent to about 30 ink cartridge sets. So this is exclusive auto stop ink bottles uniquely keyed for easy filling of each color. This is the Expression ET 2750. Let's take a look. more lighter than my Canon printer. So you can see, look at this big bottle of black ink. No more cartridges. So as you can see, this is what I was using before. This is my Canon printer, and it is very heavy, very bulky. It's got the cartridges in here, and they are very expensive. I could easily spend $20 of ink a month on this printer. This is so much lighter. It fits perfectly in my little $5 Ikea side table next to my desk. Perfect. Who knew that these things existed? That these kind of printers existed? 
I didn't, honestly. Okay, so now we're filling up the yellow. As you can see, I've got the Epson printer open. I figured out how to open it all the way. And I should just read directions. Okay, so now we have all the colors. Everything is in now. I'm going to close this. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to press the question mark and you want to hold it down for three seconds. When the message to start the initiation appears on the LCD screen, then we're going to press this key, the one that has the little key. So then you're going to press this key after that, which is right here. Do not turn the power off until initialization is complete. This takes about 10 minutes. So this right now, it is charging up the ink. So it is charging up the ink and it takes about 10 minutes. And so during that time, don't do anything. Don't load paper, don't open the scanner, don't do anything like that because it will just waste ink. So just be patient for 10 minutes. I know it's hard. Just think about all the books you're going to print. So I'm looking at the specs online for this printer from the actual website and it comes with enough ink when you order it to print up to 6,500 black and white pages and 5,200 color pages. Wow, that is amazing. I also see that the reviews on Amazon are awesome and the refills on the reviews are awesome. People love how much you can print with this one printer. And it's not messy at all as you saw. I think some people might be intimidated a bit with bought ink bottles like this. But as you can see, it's not messy at all. I didn't get a drop of ink on me. It's very easy to put in. All right, so now that it is done charging up, it used up a little bit of the ink, so it says the instructions say to just use the leftover ink in each bottle to just refill them up again, and that's it. Then we'll be ready to go. Then there'll be one last step before it's ready to go. We're gonna open this up back here and pull this up into the sides. Open this, and now we are ready for paper. James, can I have some paper? Cool. Okay. You know, just kind of adjust. It's fine where it's supposed to be. Okay, and then you just want to open this paper tray right here. All right, so the printer is up and running. Now the next and last step is just to connect it to my computer. So I have a Mac, I'm gonna have to do this wirelessly. And also, you can download the app and print from your phone, which I'm really excited about. Just the thought of imagining waking up and realizing that I need to print something, I need to print a book, and I could just do it from my room, that is, exciting to me. So while I am setting up the wireless feature of the printer, I'm gonna go ahead and just print my first thing because I'm so excited, I can't wait. I'm gonna be printing the properties of matter from the bonus section of the science online. If you're doing RC online, you can find that under bonuses science. There is a ton of monographs and so I'm gonna print the first one, which is properties of matter. And so yeah, let's print this out. So this would have totally made me nervous using my Canon printer, but look at these vivid images, these pictures, they look great. It's printing awesome. And just to show you that nothing gets wasted in this house, the kids are making a castle out of the packaging for this new printer. Jenny, what are you doing? Making a little castle for I just turned around and already it's been repurposed and flavored. That's true. Good job. So stay tuned for part two of this video where I show you how you can make an easy book like this, how you can print it out booklet style, 
and yeah just simple ways to jazz it up a little bit very inexpensive very easy low maintenance way to make books to bind books i'll also show you some super quick and easy ways how you can also bind um, materials like this you know these monographs how you can make you know make it a little bit nicer you obviously could just put them in a three ring binder and call it a day but i'll show you what i'm going to do i'm going to be using a sewing machine on this and now i'm going to go teach my kids about viscosity but thank you so much for watching guys and going along this journey with me of unboxing this new printer and setting it up filling up the ink for the first time and just trying it out and just sharing my excitement because we print a lot here at our house and so this is going to be a game changer for sure and i'm really excited about it so thanks for going along with us in this journey and i'll see you in part two of this video and in the next video that i upload this week Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know in the comments below do you have an epson printer or the other uh, brother printer that's recommended by the robinson curriculum don't forget to check out their webpage under printer recommendations so you can see the two that they recommend and you can look at reviews from there um, when you check it out i'll also be putting a link to this exact model in the description below so check it out and yeah i'll see you in the next video don't mind me i'm just going to be here printing and i'll see you in the next one where we start to bind these bye